Hi guys and welcome back again at Space Engineers! Yep! So the last video I reviewed these five crafts and there are some issues with the Locust Age and the Mole and the Auto Miner. This one actually did do the job and that one, well, I don't really want to talk about it. The Locust Age is fairly easy to reset when it gets stuck, you just have to move near it and then it keeps on going. The mole I want to talk about a little bit afterwards. The auto miner is still not finished uh, as a product, I guess. And the MD1B did overall uh, the best of the five. However, this may get pushed out of its throne. So I didn't do this vehicle complete justice on its own. You actually need to get up to the asteroid and that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing you actually need to do. So let's get right up to the asteroid right here. I am not pressing any buttons as of now. That's the only thing I needed to do. <laughs> right now it's auto mining. And if I press the 7, it will actually turn around and do its stuff. So, yeah. I've been testing it for about half an hour. This thing actually does the job perfectly okay. Even slightly better, I have to say, than the, uh, uh, the other one, what was it? with uh, the number and uh, letters. So, yeah. The Mole by uh, Crooked something. <laughs> it does the job perfectly okay. And as you can see, it stops perfectly. Um, I did click the auto mining feature, I guess. So it should. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> See, this unit is perfectly fine. It was just uh, the user that was an idiot. So, my big mistake. So cool, yeah. Let's uh, get on with the next one. I'll uh, leave this one running. I think it's an auto shutdown of 15 minutes. And something blew up. I saw that. Yeah. I think it lost a drill now. Something went terribly wrong there. I think it's uh, um, basically a uh, mirror to what is going on on this side, and uh, this drill's just gone. So that blew up. Um, well, too bad because uh, it, it really was a good miner. Um, perhaps a little bit too much uh, thrust that it blew itself up. But all in all, very good vehicle. Let's get on with the next one. So the next one I wanted to review is this S3 auto mining drone. Um, Although, yeah, I, I, I have a kind of an issue with it. Uh, let, me, let me just show you what happens. As soon as I do this, right, I place it down in the world. I set the unit to be owned by me, like so. And then I get the remote control, right? So right now I'm in remote control. There are no options here. That's not really an issue. But look at this. I go backwards. Immediately it disintegrates itself. I have no clue what's going on on this vehicle, but uh, that's not working as intended, I guess. So let's move over to the next one. And the next one is this scary looking fella. <laughs> the Harvester 4. And it uses a programmable block, so I'm, I'm very excited for this one. It even has some tires on the back. It remembers asteroids, coordinates and all that good jizz and I'm really excited to show uh, this one around on that asteroid, and let's see how it works and performs. So the way this thing works is get in the cockpit, press 2 to activate rear control, dock the connector using the camera, press 1 or external view, like so. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now I have to dock and press 2 again. Now the drone will return to this connector. Unlock and disconnect. Right. Next thing we need to do is fly up to the asteroid, I guess. And go to about 50 meters from the asteroid. Something like this. And press 2. Let's try that again. Pressing 1. Go in front of the asteroid. And press 2 doesn't look like I'm doing anything wrong. Press 2 to set Brilliant Grid. Yeah, I did that. 
The drone starts aligning and mining automatically after that. Do I need to get closer perhaps? I think this is about 50 meters, but let's just try. Nope. Tough luck, guy. Let's go to the next one. So the next one in the list is the Auto Miner RC. And that one is made by Serdic. I guess it's a Russian guy because uh, I've been looking around on, the, on this vehicle and it has a connector and a connector. <laughs> but then in Russian. Uh, let's fly this one near the asteroid and press number two. And it should do all the jizz that it needs to do. There we go. So, let's see it working. Let's see what it's about to do now. Okay. I guess it's just keeping on going because it detects an asteroid way in front of him, but... Looks like it is. Let's see if it smacks its uh, drills or something. Uh, it's fairly alright. Yeah, cool. And it looks like we're at the exit. So now comes the real test. Will it turn around and search for more? Turns off it drills. Thrusts a little bit forward. Turns around. Yep. Well, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna smack in that asteroid, I guess. But no damage, so that's alright. So, this one will continue its operation, I guess. And, uh,. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is this little bugger, the Termite 2. The author actually made this vehicle so, uh, with uh, not a lot of resources, so this is easily built in survival. That was the intention of this vehicle. It only has a remote control block, and you fly it up to an asteroid and press the auto button. So let's just do that. It's very nimble, actually. So, we're looking at a sensor. Uh, let's see, somewhere around here, and let's press 1. There we go! Easy enough. <laughs> let's follow it for a while as well. Another issue, I guess? Not really, but uh, you just have to keep in mind that this termite does not have any sensors like uh, player detection or other craft detection. It will drill right through them. So, don't stand in front of this vehicle. But thus far, it's doing its job and tunneling around this asteroid. And I couldn't make up from the details of this vehicle if it's really autonomous and uh, will dig right back into the asteroid after it finishes up this large corridor. But uh, we'll have to see, I guess. Here we go. It's definitely turning around and doing stuff. Oh man, it's too fast for me. <laughs> oh, don't blow up yourself. Yep, it blew up. That's what it did. Yep. So, you have no more drill, dude. Turn my two. Like it, but it's a little bit uh, self-harming. Too bad. Let's go for the next one. And this beast is actually not really part of the category Autonomous Miner, but on the other hand, I really wanted to have it in this video as well, because this vehicle requires no buttons whatsoever. Let me just show you what I mean with that. So what you need to do is have a ship, like mine here. This is actually out of my single player world, so let's grab it and dock with it. That's the only thing you need to do. And now, you just have to fly up to an asteroid. It's, it's such an amazing design. I really like this. Look at this. Right? Fly up to an asteroid. I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just coasting right now. Not pressing anything. 
and the merge block does the following. It disconnects itself as soon as it sees an asteroid. Fairly soon. Right about now. There we go. And it's off. <laughs> Didn't press any buttons. It just went on by itself. And as soon as it exits to the other side, well, you'll have to see in a couple of minutes. Such an amazing design. I, I, I do so love it so much that I kind of wanted to have it in the video. Although it's not really uh, the, at the same par as the other ones, I guess. But uh, yeah, I really wanted to include this one. So there we go. It exits the hole and it should be telling me that it's ready for a pickup fairly soon. Although it is drifting away a bit. I wonder what's it doing. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a fairly complicated process, I guess. Although it might be breaking at the last second. I don't know. Let's see. It's going quite fast, to be honest. I don't know what's it doing. Um. Oh, that didn't look good. But I don't think anything broke off there, but... My god, that was a big smack. And now it says done. Yeah, there, there goes the drill. It says done and it's still moving, though. <laughs> So, another self-inflicting, uh, damaging piece of machinery. Um, this is not exactly what I had uh, before with this vehicle. Um, in, in the test run I had with this one, it worked perfectly fine. But right now it seems to be drifting off into neverness. And, um, well, doesn't look good. Um, I think we only have one winner on this episode again. The mole was self-damaging, this one was self-damaging, the termite 2 was self-damaging, and the only one was the, the Russian autonomous miner. That uh, is the winner of it all. So with that conclusion, I want to thank you guys for watching again. Uh, this was part 2 of the autonomous miners, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>